What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Emerald walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we did a few side quests here and there. You know, we were messing with the, the side quests, because we kind of were feeling a little lazy and all that stuff. So, here we are, right here in uh, Slateport City, and now we're going to be handling the real stuff, and that is, well, Team Aqua, Team Magma, both of them are being boneheads, and as you guys can see... We really don't, well, we haven't gone anywhere but beyond, you know, Moss, Be Moss Deep City, I should say. So, first is first, I'm going to be buying myself some repels because, well, we don't, we, don't need to, we don't need to get attacked by any Pokemon right here. So, let's see what we can get. As you guys can see, we want another badge so we can actually get a bunch of full heals if we wanted to. And, well, let's go right ahead and buy ourselves 20 of these uh, bad boys right here. And, let's go with another 10 of these bad boys right here. And, full heals. Yes, you know what? We need a, we need a, we need 20 more of those bad boys right there. So, let's get the heck out of here. And, uh, well, I think the next thing is uh, we actually have to go south. So, let's go right ahead and use Joust and kick some butt, take some names and all that stuff. And, uh, you know, let's go ahead and take care of the, the business that we forgot to take care of. And that is, you know, going straight to, uh, what was it? Route 127, 26, it really doesn't matter, yes, there's a bunch of trainers right here, so we're going to be battling quite a few of them, just randomly and all that crud, and well, let's go ahead and start off with these two guys right here, both Raiden and Sage, so let's go right ahead, take these guys on, bird Pokemon have excellent vision, they spot, or they spot prey, uh, prey from a great distance, and uh, we have to slow and methodically, or yeah, we have a slow and methodical, yeah, <laughs> I can't even... Yeah, I can't even read right now. Getting text messaged all over. It's, it's always around this time. So here we are taking on cool trainer Athena and uh, bird trainer what's-his-face. And, well, one of them has the same Pokemon as, as we do. So let's go right ahead and go with a Thundershock to Swellow and uh, Strength. No, actually Leaf Blade to this guy right here. So let's go right ahead and do that. Anywho, guys, we are close. We are very, very close. Very, very close to, I, I would have to say, finishing up this walkthrough right here. Because it's like, all we need now is the legendary Pokemon events. Which would be, you know, Groudon and Kyogre and all that crud. And uh, the Elite Four. Yeah, pretty much it. Oh yeah, and then, you know, win our last badge and all that stuff. So, yeah, that's always fun right there. And, uh, well, many of you guys have been asking me to, hey... Are you going to be doing Pokemon Platinum? Are you going to be redoing that too? And I'm just thinking about it. I really am thinking about it. Even though Pokemon Platinum is not really one of my favorite games. Believe it or not, it is. It's not. I mean, I played it so many times. I think you could say that, you know, the speed of the game is what got me. And that is that, you know, yeah, it's not that fast. It's, uh, you know, you know, it, it just, it lags on. But... You know, we have the speed button for the uh, DS Mume. Yeah, it's actually, you know, I, I, I would hope that it would actually help out just a little bit. And look at this. We found ourselves a rare candy. So now it is time for us to just move on right here. We are in the sea, guys. We're going to be finding a lot of stuff. And that's a lot of trainers, too. And, well, we are in Route 126. And you guys see some white boulders right here. You're definitely going to be uh, spotting a uh, certain town of some sort. Now, here we have another guy right here saying that there's a mountain rock that is a towering Sutopolis city. We're not going to be going there yet. We're actually going to be battling everybody around the sea because, well, we kind of need to. And, well, we're going to be speeding up this whole thing right here. So, yeah, the shock right there. Keep it going. Shock wave. And let's finish it off. And look at that sage. Grows to level 46. So let's go one more time. And just like that, we defeat Dean. What is it with their Speedo Torpedo? I don't know what it is. As you guys can see, there is a big dark hole area right here. And this particular area, big old mountainous area, this is where you're going to be finding, uh, finding Sutopolis. Now, in the most unique way, you can actually find it under uh, water and then go through it. It's not entirely underwater. So here we are taking on another swimmer. So let's go ahead and speed this up. Shockwave for the win. Do it again. Look at that. Easy training for my Raiden. Yes, he doesn't like, or she doesn't like it. And, uh, well, let's go right ahead and uh, continue battling everybody, guys. Hoenn is probably one of, like, the most mysterious places ever because, you know, I've never been 
Well, I haven't been everywhere when it comes to, you know, swimming and, uh, you know, going on a deep sea dive. As you guys can see, let's go right ahead and use dive. And look at that. We are crossing another area right here. And, uh, well, let's go right ahead and put this dive to the... Put this dive to the, to the mat or to the test right here. So as you guys can see, we're on the other side of the ocean right here. And let's see, what can we find around this area? Oh yeah, it's a trainer. And, mo and more than likely, this trainer right here, you're gonna be battling, and she's gonna be she's gonna be registered towards your 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 Pokemon. So that's probably one of the things right there. And nope, she actually doesn't. Yeah, she doesn't register herself, but look at that, guys. We're finding a whole bunch of Pokemon trainers, and yes, that's exactly what I'm going to be doing. Is just, I'm going to be battling a whole bunch of trainers before we get this topless. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Hmm, we've been, uh... No, actually, no. Okay, so let's go right ahead and move on right here. Now, where there's light area, you can actually go through, but there is there are grassy areas around here, guys, and that is, uh, yeah, you can actually find yourself some Pokemon right here. We're going to be doing that later because later on you're going to be finding yourself two different kinds of Pokemon, maybe three, in where, you know, they can prove useful and all that stuff. As you guys can see, this is the entrance to Sutopolis. All you need to do now is go dive and then, you know, you'll be good to go right here. So let's go right ahead and continue the battles. Let's make this guy uh, feel the full body workout. And we're speeding this through. He's coming out with the Gyarados. Look at that. Easy battle. And yes, we have defeated another Speedo Torpedo right here. And, well, let's go ahead and move on right here. Now, I would like to say that we actually have to go towards Route 127 in order to find this specific area where t -Mock was at. And, well, let's see. Along the way, you will be you will be able to find more trainers right here. I think of Oh, no. I didn't battle this guy. And... Yeah, so let's go right ahead and just battle. Speedo Torpedo? Nope, that's actually a triathlon swimmer, and he's coming out with a star use, so let's go right ahead. Leaf Blade, all these Pokemon, and yes, we win. Okay, so let's see. There might be, yes, there is a secret area right here where you can actually find spots for secret bases. Not a bad idea. And more trainers, and I think. Nope, there's no, there are no items right here. So we're gonna be battling a whole bunch of trainers right here. Obviously, this guy has a lot of Magikarp hasn't learned to evolve him and Raiden has grown to level 20 uh 20 or 41 so let's go ahead and switch it out to sage right here yes i know the irony of using this pokemon and there we go we have defeated this gentleman okay so i think there's a secret area beyond this point right here so we're not going to be using the repel just yet let's go ahead and uh, switch out our pokemon let's give a little bit of battles to a few pokemon right here Let's go with this guy. Talk to this. Through fishing, I have attained state of becalmed serenity. Please allow me to demonstrate. Becalmed serenity. That is a freaking. Uh, that is a. That is a nice uh, way of putting it. So here we go. Leaf blade for the win. Leaf blade for the win, and another leaf blade for the way. We take damage, and look at that. We grow to level 47. So yes, yeah, Sage is set to become our second Pokemon at level 50 right here. And well, let's go ahead and battle this guy. Let's go ahead and switch out. I don't want to use Joust because, uh, yes, Joust can actually do it. And, yes, I, he snagged a surfing Pokemon, so let's go ahead and switch or battle with the uh, same Pokemon right here. Look at that. We lose points. Tentacruel, how's it going? And, yes, we win. Okay, alrighty. So let's go right ahead and see what's beyond this point. Genuine, um,. Usually when there's a, uh, there's a hidden spot right here, or the, usually when there's a dark spot right here, there's usually a hidden part around this area, and why do I keep on pressing the B button right here? Okay, so let's go... Nope, that's actually... You're not, you're not going to be finding anything. As you guys can see, you won't be finding any Pokemon around this area. And, uh... Yeah, that... <laughs> yeah, we're not going to be doing anything right there, so we're still in the same spot. Let's go right ahead and use another Max Repel. And, well, let's go right ahead and see where else we can actually go. In fact, I kind of want to see the Pokemon just a little bit. Let's see, Hoenn map. And, well, we were in this general vicinity. So now we're right here, and it looks like to me, 
Route 128, 129. There is a secret area right there, which we'll, we, we will be getting to later on. So let's go right ahead and just continue on our adventure right here. Alrighty, let's go. Let's see. More Pokemon that you can actually train, battle. Let's see, right here. Look at this. Okay, so this is a nice spot. And we're going to be finding ourselves a karate guy. So let's go right ahead and battle again. And he's, uh, yeah, he's hitting a... <laughs> A big ol' uh, high jump kick right there, and Koji has been defeated. And, well, of course he's gonna be giving us a... He's gonna be giving us his number on the Pokenab, that way we can call him up any single time. And there is a secret spot right there. As you guys can see, you can make yourself three secret bases. Usually the big ones are the ones that, like, you know, don't really have a lot. They usually have, like, a crack open in between, so... Yeah, just keep an eye out for that. Now, as you guys can see, there is a spot where we can actually go to and find another secret area right here. So let's go right ahead and see what we got. What we got. Alrighty. So here we are still in Route 127, and would you look at that? This is a secret spot, and we have found ourselves a Carbos, which uh, to me is kind of like, okay, so all that for a Carbos, really. Seriously, all that for a Carbos, okay. And well, let's see, can we find anything else right here? I don't think so. I would, I would like to say that you can actually find a legendary Pokemon around here, depending on uh, what Kyogre and, oh yeah, what Kyo Kyogre's uh, spotting would be. And well, here we go with Joust again, and let's go right ahead, get under the sea, and continue on our adventure. And I'm pressing the 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 B button right here, so let's go right ahead, and just like that, we are back. Okay, so let's move on right here. I think, I think the end point has to be, I think the end point has to be, what was it, uh, not that, because of course we're going to be battling a Pokemon, and yes, we forgot our repel, so let's go right ahead and do this, and let's see what we got, okay, so usually it's around this spot right here where you'll be able to find the path going to the secret area that leads to the Team Lock uh, Lair, or, you know, with the legendary Pokemon, is right here where you'll be able to find it. Now, we're not going to be going there just yet. Like I said, we're going to be battling a bunch of trainers because, well, we kind of need to... We kind of need to uh, bring up the experience, the levelings of our Pokemon. We're going to be uh, we're gonna be battling quite a few uh, difficult trainers around here. So, here we have cool trainer Alexa, and she's got herself a Gloom. So, let's go right ahead and go with a Crunch attack. That will work. And we're going to be switching up to Hadouken right here. And Dragon Breath... And look at that. Yes, we win. Alrighty. Alrighty. That is how you do it right there. And, well, let's see. There's also, there's also, a, what was it, Pacific Log Town that we actually have to go to. This guy obviously says that, you know, there's nobody stronger than he is. Okay, so, whatever. Anywho, let's go right ahead and take on Ruben, and he's coming over with a Shiftry. That is a nice Pokemon. At one point, I actually wanted to use a Shiftry for, uh, you know, for one of my Pokemon, but then I realized that, you know, going... Well, when I did uh, a Pokemon Emerald walkthrough a long time ago when I was driving XC711, it didn't really work out. And I actually switched it out for a Blossom. Yeah, a Blossom. It wasn't really a... <laughs> It, it, honestly, I wasn't really thinking as much because it lost its poison typing, so yeah. And of course, this area right here leads straight to the Pokemon League. And well, we're going to be battling some more trainers right here, so let's go right ahead and uh, take care of the trainers before we get to the Pokemon League or we ever take on the Pokemon League. And well, here we go. She is yoked. Her name is Triathlon Ka Caitlyn, and she has a star you, so let's go right ahead. Crunch attack right here. And seriously, only one Pokemon? Okay, so that's not cool. But yes, she's going to be sending us a rematch clause right here. And, well, let's see. Let's go right ahead and continue on. There might not be any uh, secret items right here. And I am getting a phone call, so I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, guys, so I am back, and uh, we're going to be using another repel right here because, well, there's going to be more people attacking us and all that. And, of course, we're going to get called by Roy because he wants to battle us or something. I don't know. So, let's see, where in the mother grabbing are we? Oh yes, we are right towards the Pokemon League, and I think we've defeated everybody. So I guess the next best thing is to go straight back to Sutopolis. I just realized that, well, you know what, maybe, might as well just go there while we're at it. I mean, 
And that way we take a small tour of the place and then, you know, head on over to whatever town we, or head on over to the next mission and all that stuff. And of course we're going to be battling this lady and she's telling us do we have a rival. I do have quite a few rivals, but they don't like me at all. So here we are taking on Donnie and she is going to be coming out with a wingle. So let's go right ahead and go with the crunch attack and continue it on right here with crunches. And just like that, I have automatically become your rival. Yes, I am. And, uh, well, let's go right here. And, uh, you know what? Let's go right ahead and uh, get to Sutopolis. So all you guys got to do now is go straight to the dive. And what's going to happen next is we're going to go down here to the underwater path. And like I said before, you can find some Pokemon around here. Some of them, which we will be capturing off screen and all that stuff. And then afterwards... You head down the middle and you're going to be finding yourself a big old entrance right here. So let's go right ahead and press B. And as you guys can see, Joust is coming back up. And here we are in Sutopolis City. As you guys can see, this is home to a gym leader named Juan. Not, or not, what's his face? Uh, Wally. And I think, well, I think you can actually beat him right now if you wanted to. I don't even know. So, what we're going to do right here, guys, is we're going to pause our game. I know, I know, it was kind of like, you know, a weird, weird episode. But in the next episode, we're going to be taking a small tour of Sutopolis City. Then, we're going to be going back to, I want to say, well, we're going to be going into the whole Team Aqua, Team Magma situation. And uh, from there, let it just happen. You know, let Arceus take care of it. You know, be with God or something. Anywho, I will see you guys in the next episode. Thank you guys again for watching. I'll see you guys next time.